Problem position. Where else you struggle with? Front headlock. Let me get there in a second, okay? Because I know you guys got a lot of front headlock stuff yesterday. You guys mind if I work on something real quick? What I'm working on trying to teach you guys mind real fast? You know, bear with me for a minute. Split middle. So when the guy low lifts you, right? I'm like a wizard in there. It's the only way I can score on our good guys. And I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing in those positions. So I'm going to show you what, I got come, what I've come up with so far. Yeah, my muscles. I need the muscles too. No, split them up. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. So first thing, guys, that I see a lot of people do when the guy split middle that I never do is lock around his body. I see this all the time. This, I don't want. Come back down. The other thing I see that I don't agree with is they don't start wrestling until the guy lifts me. As soon as I know I'm getting lifted, I might want to hit in and not let him, or I might get good in this position and bait him. As soon as he lifts me, you're going to see me walk my hands. There's this little dip I do with my hips. It's going to make his hand go behind his head. So as he's coming up, my hands find the mat, and I'm going to dip behind this guy. First thing we're going to do, knee replace below his butt. Does everybody see it? Right above his butt. Does everybody see where my knee's at? And then which way I turn, it depends which leg he has, I'm going to find that far angle. I'm going to lift with back, push off, and immediately I know what this guy's going to do. He's going to kick off or he's going to face me. Do not pull the leg to you. He had two hands and use the mat. Now if he turns and faces me, don't care. I go to my single leg finish, keeping his leg straight. If he kicks away, he's not budging. And I'll go right back in, focusing on keeping this leg straight to my far reach. So remember, not around his waist, not trapping his arm, not double ankles. I get to that stuff later. Right when I'm getting lifted, my chest stays up. And I see the arch that's supposed to be in my back. I'm not flexible. Arch in my back and slide down his back. Right when I'm sliding, I turn opposite hip down, replace my knee. He can't hang on to my foot. Push, down. I've got him in position. Start off really, really slow to get the slide and get the rotation. Then when you start getting the hang of it, the guy will lift, I'll do, oh, I'll pop. And I win that battle. Sorry, I should have won. That's my battle. I'm sorry. Don't push down, bro. Now foot pushing down in the mat to keep that leg straight to get our finish. Any questions about that? Also, just want to see how you guys wrestle upside down a little bit too. So there's a little bit of like, I want to see how you guys do in a little bit of that flurry position. It's starting to be so common with college. Get the elbows behind the ears. This is when your shoulders are the weakest right here. Put, this up, put my elbow behind my ear. That's the concept I'm trying to get. Don't let him get two hands to one leg. Put his hands behind his head. Turn, hip down, shin right in the middle of his back. Push off, push far ankle down. Got it? Let's get to work. Go.